A restaurant in downtown Bartlesville is offering classic Oklahoma features, but combining it with flavors from around the world with local meat from a ranch 25 miles away. Doesn't that look so good? News on Six's Kristen Weaver shows us all of the flavors and colors of painted horse in this week's Taste of Oklahoma. Well, Tatum, Mark and Kelly Spencer opened Painted Horse in 2013 and they own a few other restaurants. They say the restaurant biz is all about service, compassion and of course delicious food. Colorful, vibrant paintings of horses, rustic cowhide and this full U-shaped bar, the restaurant's centerpiece, greet customers new and old at Painted Horse. The historic building has original floor and ceilings from 1904. People ask me all the time, how did you start in the restaurant business? And I always tell them, poor choices. Mark and Kelly Spencer own the restaurant and have a few more around town and in Arkansas. Painted Horse opened 11 years ago, but they've been together and in the restaurant business for much longer. We've done it together for 40 years. So I'm, I'm the back of the house. He's the visionary and I'm the glue applier. The menu has something for everyone from the classics like burgers and steaks to more unique options like their Asian inspired salmon, salads and mac and cheese of all kinds. I wanted to offer things that a lot of people would really enjoy and things I enjoyed cooking. The best part is that most of the meat is ranch to table. Mark is a fifth generation rancher and he and Kelly own Wolf Creek Ranch in Pawhuska where they raise horses and cattle. We will sell hamburger from our ranch here at the restaurant and we also will offer the steaks and roasts and briskets and things like that here at the restaurant. So it is a real ranch to table. Back in the bustling kitchen. This is like uh, watching a rugby game in a ballet. Chefs tend to steaks of all cuts and press down burgers on the grill. The ribeye steak gets a lot of seasoning and is seared and served for us at a beautiful medium rare alongside roasted Brussels sprouts and Parmesan potato wedges. This is a giant piece of steak. One bite melts in your mouth and it's even better with the compound butter. That butter is unbelievable. That's so delicious. Those Brussels sprouts are tangy with a charred bite to them. People that don't like Brussels sprouts like these Brussels sprouts. And that says it all right That's there. Right. You can turn a Brussels sprout hater into a fan. Into, into a fan. The grilled salmon is a change of pace from that hearty ribeye. After chefs saute a medley of veggies and get the salmon seasoned and grilled, the fish gets served on top of a bed of rice and is topped with hibachi sauce and slaw. We make a slaw with spicy aioli sauce and then we top the salmon with that. It's spicy, sweet, and fresh. So this one's a little different. It's pretty complex. The mac and cheese here isn't a side. It's the main course. They call this the cluck and squeal. Hot noodles are covered in a five cheese sauce and topped with breadcrumbs, chicken, bacon, and green onion. All of our mac and cheese dishes are really, really good. We've got a pork, a beef, a shrimp, a chicken. All that cheese would make anyone a little thirsty. That's why the bar has lots of options. This is Travis, a bartender. My oldest son also. Painted Horse is a family affair with their daughter Hannah as the GM and Travis behind the bar. He's shaking up a summer drink, the coconut margarita. So you could be on a tropical beach or you could be in Osage County. This drink gets a coconut flake rim and Travis combines tequila with triple sec, pineapple juice, coconut and fresh lime. <laughs> That is good, that's dangerously good. The Painted Horse is named in honor of Mark's great-grandmother, a full-blood Cherokee that painted this paint-by-number horse when Mark was just a kid. And so the Painted Horse became, one day I'm gonna have a restaurant and I'm gonna name it for my great-grandmother, the Painted Horse. Mark and Kelly say the secret sauce to their success is kindness and consistency when it comes to their staff and their service. They get to know their customers and that friendship makes people wanna come back for more. If you can work on the food and make it really good and you can make your service good and you can have a great atmosphere, then you have a chance. But then you got to put the work in. So, okay, watching this, the, the one thing that I kept thinking of is if you ever have family come to town that are not from Oklahoma, don't live here, that would be the perfect spot to take. And it's it just perfect. feels so quintessential Oklahoma. Homey, and I just love that they're able to utilize our local resources, people yeah. here. I mean, it's just, it's a special place. And 
you could see the inside. It's gorgeous too. So that just adds that whole extra element to it. Fun atmosphere. Uh, it's a family affair. I mean, what's not to love about that? Exactly. We have a lot of good ones still coming up and they just, you know, Tatum, we talk every week. They just there continue to get better and better. Uh -huh. So keep those recommendations coming. You can always send me an email, Kristen.weaver at griffin.news or follow my food Instagram, Chris Eats for all the fun behind the scenes and all the previews of the next week as well. And she was telling me about some of the other ones that are coming up and y'all are, I mean, we see it every <laughs> week. Y'all are in for a real treat. So always. We always hope for the best and it usually, it has yet to let me down. I'll say that. So we're lucky. We have a lot of talent. Out there. <laughs> Kristen, thank you.